that that and darling, apparently Mr. Ringo's an educated man. Now I really need him. Watch it, Johnny. I hear he's real fast. Yo everybody, how you doing? King Ding Bang here, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend, a great Saturday. Me, it's been a blast all day long. Now, my day started early with a podcast with Nitro Freak. He invited me on with Darius. It was a blast. Thank you to Nitro Freak for having me on. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, along with Darius, it was great to meet you. He was on too, and we were talking about Nick Foles. Carson Wentz, we were going at it, we were debating, we were double moonwalking everybody's ass, it was a blast, um, we, you know, it, it was like a two hour podcast, and it was fun, and I had, I had just had a great time, so if you want to check that podcast out, I'm going to put the link in the description, and you go check it out, and uh, you know, tell us what you think, but it was fun, and I had a great, great time, now based upon that podcast, um, and you know, with it being a Saturday, kind of slow news, you know, that kind of thing, I started really thinking about the expectations I have for Carson Wentz this year. Um, what are reasonable expectations? We were talking a little bit about this during the podcast, and, and, and I started thinking about it more. What is reasonable expectations? This guy's coming back from major knee surgery, you know, major knee injury, more than one leg. What is fair? What is fair and does, you know, does us fans thinking that they need to repeat or they will repeat, is that putting unfair pressure on Carson Wentz? And I started thinking about this, you know, and, and the first thing, you know, that I thought about was how good do I think this kid is? How good as a player, you know, who was only two years in the league, who was drafted, how good do I think Carson Wentz can be? And I've answered this many times. And for those that don't know, I think Carson Wentz's ceiling is Hall of Fame. I think he could be a Hall of Fame quarterback if he lives up to the talent and the ability that he has. And if he can do that and not get hit and stay healthy and have a good career, I think he'll end up in that category. I really, really do. Um, I think he's the best prospect, quarterback prospect to come out since Andrew Luck and maybe even better. I love Carson Wentz. I think he is going to be a fantastic, fantastic player for a long time, the face of the NFL. So that's kind of what I think he is, okay? Now, coming back from knee injury um, is something different. We don't know how healthy he is. We don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know so much right now. It's kind of hard to know. Um, but this also creates, in my opinion, a pass in a way for him. Not that it's okay for him to come out and stink and all that kind of stuff, but nobody is going to kill him. Nobody is going to kill the Eagles if they can't repeat. Repeating is hard. It's very hard to do. And this gives the Eagles a situation where I think they don't have a lot of pressure to win this year. It's not a lot of pressure. Now Carson still wants to win. He's still hoping to win. He's still going to go out and try to win. But if they don't meet their goal, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Now maybe if he doesn't meet his goal this year, he doesn't meet it next year. You know, and we start to get into the next season after that. Maybe he's going to start feeling the pressure, but he's not going to feel it this year, which means that he's going to be able to go out and just play. So I expect Carson to come out this year. I expect the first eight games for him to kind of try to get his, you know, work his way back into his old self. I think you'll see him in the pocket more. I think you'll see him, you know, basically not as mobile as he used to be, not able to run when he wants to run as much. You know, it'll be a lot harder. And his timing's probably going to be off. He may not be as accurate. He may have all these issues early on. Um, but as the season goes and you get to like November and you get to December, I think you're going to start to see Carson Wentz 
start double moonwalking everybody's ass. And he's going to start tearing it up. And then they're going to get into the playoffs. And the Eagles are going to be very, very dangerous. This is about what I expect to happen. In terms of numbers. Now, I'm going to give you my prediction for numbers for all the players on the Eagles roster at some point, um, you know, right before preseason and that kind of thing. But I can tell you right now, I have Carson between 32 and 45 touchdown passes next year. That's how much I think... You know, that's how good I think he's going to do. Somewhere between 32 and 42, we'll say. Now, I will give you a definite number once, you know, that, that video comes out. But I expect him to do that, about 4,000 yards. And I expect him, you know, 10 interceptions, something like that. And I think he'll be a top contender for the MVP. So those are what I think, you know, that's what I basically think he's going to do this upcoming year. Can they repeat? Absolutely. You know, now some people will say, well, he's never played in a playoff game. We don't know how he's going to handle pressure. Well, if we look at his college years, if we look at the way he played in that Rams game, that Rams game was for the division coming off a loss where he played bad on the road in a hostile environment. He went out and he carried the Eagles with four touchdown passes, throwing the last one in a tour in ACL. The guy was masterful. So that's what I expect him to do next year. I don't worry about Carson in the playoffs. I don't worry against Carson, against, you know, big, bad defenses, right? Here's the funny thing with the whole he hasn't played good defenses type thing. Every defense that is not good now that he beat was good when he was playing them, right? They're only bad after he crushes them and double moonwalks their ass. Then what happens? Oh, they stink. Carolina, they stink. Well, that's because he tore them up. Oh, Denver, you're going to beat Denver. How are you going to beat Denver the number one defense? I'll tell you. Boom, 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 boom. They stink now, right? After he throws four touchdowns. Everybody stinks after he tortures them. Maybe they don't stink. Maybe he just that good. That's my, my, my thoughts on it. So Carson Wentz is going to do his thing. And yes, it may be a little bit slower. He may not be himself right away. But just hold on, get to the second half of the season, and he's going to tear it up. And if for some reason he's not fully back all year from injury, the Eagles don't repeat, it's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. They'll come back stronger than ever, you know, because repeating is hard. But I expect the Eagles to repeat. I expect them to be in the run all the way. And I expect Carson Wentz to get what's coming to him. An MVP, a Super Bowl ring, and a Super Bowl MVP. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat.